Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share a super short video with you about how I am organizing all of my sequins and shaker bits. Um, so I just got a bunch of new sequins from a haul that I did, uh, which I'll link here. Um, I got some stuff, I combined them all, but I got these from um, My Favorite Things uh, when I snagged their super cute mermaid set that they just came out with recently. Um, and I saw these... Uh, shaker or sequin sets and I couldn't resist because the blues and the greens would be perfect for mermaid type shaker cards and I'm a sucker for matching things so um, I went ahead and got them and I am using this awesome storage container from uh, I think I got mine from Joanne, but I want to say it's called Tiny Containers. I'll link to it in the description, so check it out there if you want to see what container I'm using. Um, but it's got a clear top, which is nice because you can see everything that's inside. You take that off and it's got all these tiny little containers inside that holds all of your itty bitty pieces. Um, this has been a lifesaver for me getting organized in my craft room, um, and I would highly recommend this product if you're looking for something to store a bunch of tiny little things. Um, so here's the container and a look at kind of the whole thing all together. Um, and I am working on filling in my containers and uh, labeling them. So you can see there I have some clear label tape that I use to put on the end there. Um, and there I've got some of my My Favorite Things sequins that I snagged that are the smaller and larger ones from the same color, navy. Um, so what I did was I took my label maker and I just used clear label tape and put in an abbreviation for the brand. So for Craft Medley, the first ones that I did, I put CM. And for these pretty pink posh ones, I did PPP. And then I took my scissors and cut up my little pieces uh, so that they were just the right size to fit on the side of the container. Um, once I had them cut to the right size, I went ahead and adhered them to the uh, tiny container. Um, and I just sort of took one side off first so that I didn't have as much sticky stuff to work with because I'm not very good at getting things perfect the first time. Um, and then once I got it lined up, I kind of shimmied the off the little backing part um, by flipping it up and then sort of pressing it down so that I got a nice flat uh, stick to my uh, label tape and then I smoothed it on so there you can see it's super cute I love to label things it makes my heart so happy um, and then what I'm also going to do is after well I have to order it first because I my label maker does not have the right kind of tape I need one fourth inch tape but once I get that I'm also going to put the full brand or possibly just the um, mix uh, like name um, on top so that I know both the brand and what the mix is called or what the color is called um, and then that'll just help me stay even more organized and keep things um, on the straight and narrow in my craft room um, so that's where I'll put that one fourth inch tape when I get it um, so that's just a quick look at my storage system for my shaker bits and some close-up pictures so you can see exactly what I'm working with and if this might be a good solution for you. Um, I am super in love with this and I can't recommend it enough so I hope you'll let me know if you decide to get something like this or show me what works for you. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really hope that you do like them. If you do, be sure to give the videos a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these. See you next time!